What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing oh so well and welcome to today's video, which is a video on Chelsea Academy star, young Tammy Abraham, Chelsea superstar striker, the man of the moment, the man in form, the promising and upcoming young footballer. I'm going to be talking about Tammy Abraham's statistics this season, how they hold up against the best, and also how he plays stylistically and how perhaps he's proving a lot of people wrong who thought he might have been a championship striker. I've spoken about Tammy Abraham quite a lot this season, certainly I've done a couple of videos about him, but after his hat-trick away at Molyneux and how he's generally been performing incredibly well with a superb professional attitude, I wanted to further that and explain in a little bit more detail why he's perfect for the Premier League. But before we do get into the video today guys, can I request that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel because I upload every single day, so I'd like you to subscribe and please hit the bell notifications icon and why not help me out and like the video. Alright, Tammy. So I've done some videos on him before, talking about his previous record down in the championship, how he was an absolute world beater down there for Bristol City and Aston Villa respectively. He did really well at both clubs, banging in loads of goals, but people still, as people always will, had reservations about a championship striker because he had a very small time in the Premier League and really wasn't given a chance. So when he became Chelsea's number nine, some eyebrows were raised. But five games into the Premier League campaign with only four starts, Tammy Abraham is joint top goal scorer in the Premier League with Sergio Aguero with seven goals. Spoiler, a better minutes to goal ratio too. He's got a really good professional attitude and he's kept his head down. He's got a great application to his craft. All this as well after the Super Cup incidents where people online were racially abusing him and he had to just brush it off. And instead of going inside his shell, he exploded onto the scene on the Premier League stage and basically did his thing. In this video, I want to talk about why he's really well suited for the Premier League and for Chelsea and indeed are playing under Frank Lampard. But before we do that, I want to give you guys some context of how well he's done this season. So for that, let's pull up the statistics page. Alright, so I want to compare him to the other two top scorers in the Premier League. Sammy Abraham and Sergio Aguero are both joint top scorers in the Premier League, both with seven goals. And just behind them is Teemu Puki with six goals. Right, so let's go over the minutes per goals. Teemu Puki scoring a goal every 74 minutes. Sergio Aguero is scoring a goal every 51 minutes, which is incredibly good, but something you'd expect from a Manchester City striker playing in a Manchester City team that's in form and scoring lots of goals. But Tammy Abraham is scoring a goal every 47 minutes, which is quite frankly insane. Let's talk about shots on goal. Tamo Puki's had 16 shots on goal, and both Tammy Abraham and Sergio Aguero have both had 13 shots on goal. So for Tammy to just come into the Premier League and properly have his first proper stint in the Premier League under a team that serves him chances, to get or to certainly have the same conversion rate as elite marksman Sergio Aguero, it's just superb for the young English lad. Absolutely mental. And to have a better goals per minutes ratio as well, and then again, an unsettled Chelsea team, it really is quite stunning. A few more stats I want to talk about just from Tammy Abraham here. Tammy is taking three shots per game, which is probably the perfect amount for a striker in terms of trying to bag a goal or trying to bag goals, but not wasting, you know, chances in possession. Abraham is also taking 1.2 key passes per game, which means he is a creative player. He can hold the ball up very well, he's strong, he's getting a lot better at that, but he can also make those creative key passes, which is a really good asset for your number nine. He wins 2.8 aerial duels per game, which is a good number and something you'd expect for a lad who's so strong and tall. And finally, Tammy Abraham has won two man of the matches out of his four starts so 50% of his starts are man of the match performances so far. Pretty damn impressive from young Tammy Abraham I'm sure you would agree. All right let's talk a little bit more generally about his play style and get rid of the statistics screen. Cool so it's really important to note that Tammy Abraham isn't just a poacher extraordinaire like that's what people thought he was down in the championship at championship level. But no, the lad's doing it all. He's scoring all kinds of goals. He scored that lovely header. He can score scrappy goals. Yes, we know that. He obviously scored that lovely goal from outside the box at Norwich as well. But he's incredibly good at getting the ball to his feet, protecting it, shuffling it, spinning 180 and popping a shot 
into the corner. Instinctive, lightning quick, elite striker moves here. Abraham is the whole package when it comes to a striker mole as well. And I want to talk about a few things that he does. I mean, we know he's got no trouble scoring goals now. Now that seems evident. I've just explained he can score any type of goal and he's got the numbers to prove it. But he does all the other stuff as a team player, which you'd expect from your number nine. He presses incredibly well all the time. Now that's important to any elite modern football team that wants to be challenging for any top, you know, honours essentially. Much like Mason Mount, he knows when to press and when not to press. He can press the opposition player in possession, but he'll know when not to go and he'll know when his strike partner or his fellow wide forwards are pressing with him. A very intelligent um, player when it comes to movement and forward pressing. We know he can run the channels because he's been doing that all season and he runs very, very well. Um, he gets in behind quite well he plays on the shoulder obviously we saw that goal that he scored against Wolves where he takes the ball down and when he's essentially playing on the shoulder and he protects it very well as he's running he doesn't get bullied off the ball by a center back and often gets a shot away and it looks like he can score bangers from that as well and his hold up play generally is very very good you feel like almost maybe not as safe as Olivier Giroud let's not go crazy here but he can take the ball down and protect it and he can play in wingers or the number eights or the number ten before that was a reservation of mine and I was backing Tammy Abraham to be Chelsea's number nine and a success but I was wondering if he can hold the ball up that well he looks like he can absolutely do it um, he's obviously very tall but I wondered if it was just a bit lanky but he's definitely got the strength to do it he can take the ball down he can play people in and we're seeing more and more and more that he can spin the player and run away with the ball and obviously he's good in both boxes we've seen strikers that are very very good defensively Chelsea have had players like Didier Drogba that was always an integral player defending in the box and Tammy Abraham's obviously looking to be that player as well to use his height to win 50-50s to win those aerial duels and defend set people as well and he's great at link up play when Chelsea break away on the counter attack he's very good at one twos going down the line or he's very good at sort of combinational play in the final third of intricate passing he can do the little flicks he can do the little one twos he's been playing with um, you know the likes of Mason Mount uh, Loftus-Cheek all these other kids he's been playing with them for a while then there's good team chemistry and they know where each other are going to be on the pitch. We've got goals, every type of goal when it comes to finishing, you know, both feet, header, scrappy goals, volleys, all of them basically. Good at link up play, playing on the break, playing one twos and intricate combinational play with his teammates. Good at hold up play, holding up the ball, bringing in fellow teammates. Good at pressing and doing the defensive workhorse work, I guess, for the team and really making this sort of team structure work. Good in both boxes defending and you know what, there's probably loads I've missed. I've been sort of waxing lyrical about his whole skill set, his attributes and his general talent. Now it's easy to be on the hype train for Tammy Abraham because he's joint top scorer and he's had an excellent start to his Premier League campaign but the truth is he's had this skill set for obviously a few years now and he's just basically showing that he has no issue psychologically applying his skill set to the Premier League because he's done it now. And credit to Frank Lampard for a couple of reasons. Firstly, for the reason I just said, because he said there in press conferences, he's not going to let him rest. He's going to be like, well, now you've shown me you can do it. You have to keep doing it. You can't just be happy with a few goals and, you know, enjoy yourself. You've got to aim for top scorer. Why not? You can do it. You've shown that you can do it. So I won't take anything less now, which credit to him putting the pressure on. But I think all the players absolutely love Lampard. So credit to him for that. And also, and perhaps more importantly, believing in him. When people were perhaps criticising Lampard for starting him, maybe not having him as a deputy to Giroud or rotating him in or starting in the Cups, he just persisted with him and said, look, I'm going to start him in the Premier League. He did. And Tammy has paid off his confidence with a lot of goals. Abraham is lucky to be at Chelsea at this time because obviously it's a big shift and it had to be really a perfect storm for it to work out like a player like Tammy Abraham and indeed Mason Mount. Both obviously massive talents and deserve to be playing for this Chelsea team. But it's almost had to be a perfect storm for the stars to align and it all come together and everyone be 
in the right place at the right time essentially and they are and it looks like there's a real good camaraderie and chemistry in the Chelsea squad a nice mixture of youth and you know senior experience and it looks like with this current sort of environment Tammy should continue to flourish and develop into who knows an absolute world-class striker anyway what do you guys think how do you feel about Tammy Abraham and Frank Lampard's trust in him get down in the comments below I want to know how many goals you think Tammy Abraham can score in the Premier League this season let me know also if you have enjoyed this video guys please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here you are also welcome to follow me on social media at football Yannick at football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter oh yeah and a quick plug if you do want to support me and my channel and help keep it going you're welcome to support the channel via patreon or Streamlabs. the links are down in the description. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.